Step into the hazy world of the 4077th Mobile Army Surgical Hospital, where laughter amidst chaos became an unexpected companion. MASH, the iconic television series of the 70 seconds, blended humor and poignancy against the backdrop of the Korean War. Its wit, warmth, and insightful commentary on the human condition made it a classic. Among the ensemble cast was a blend of talent, but one actor, in particular, stood out for many viewers. Some found themselves drawn to the wry humor of Alan Alda, while others admired the gravitas of McLean Stevenson or the charm of Wayne Rogers. Amidst these performances, the series became more than just entertainment. It resonated with audiences on a deeper level, offering a reflection of the complexities of life, love, and war. For many, MASH wasn't just a show, it became a part of their lives, shaping perspectives and leaving lasting impressions. Perhaps it inspired a career in medicine or a deeper appreciation for the nuances of comedy and drama. Its impact was profound and its legacy endures. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this series? Share your stories and reflections in the comments below. We'd love to hear how MASH touched your life. Hawkeye Pierce and Trapper John McIntyre, the central characters in the 1972 TV series MASH, had distinctive nicknames with intriguing origins. While Hawkeye's moniker stemmed from his father's love for the last of the Mohicans, Trapper John's remained a mystery in the show. However, an amusing anecdote shared by Hawkeye and MASH revealed that Trapper John earned his nickname after an incident in a Boston main railway car. Caught with a woman in the ladies' room, the girl exclaimed, Oh, he trapped me. Oh my god, he trapped me. This humorous revelation added depth to the character without fully elucidating the origin of his nickname. Harry Burgoff, cast as Radar O'Reilly, held a unique distinction in the series. He was among the few actors who reprised their roles from the movie MASH, on which the TV show was based. Alongside G. Wood, who portrayed General Hammond in both the movies, in early episodes of the TV series, Burgoff stood out for his consistent portrayal of Radar O'Reilly. Timothy Brown also made an appearance in both the movie and the TV series, but in different roles. While his character in the movie differed from his portrayal as Captain Oliver Harmon Spearchooker Jones in the TV show, Brown's dual roles added an interesting facet to the continuity between the film and the series. These character nuances and behind-the-scenes casting choices helped shape the iconic 1972 TV series MASH, creating a rich and enduring legacy in television history. In the opening credits of the 1972 TV series MASH, there's a subtle yet significant detail. As the helicopters descend, there's a glimpse of Radar's back. But here's the twist, when Gary Berghoff, the actor portraying Radar, departed after season 8, that scene was tactfully edited to remove him. It's a blink and y'all miss it alteration that reflects the show's commitment to continuity and the adaptability demanded by cast changes. The show's impact wasn't limited to its initial broadcast. In the 1990s, with the advent of cable television in India, MASH hit Indian screens and became a colossal sensation. Aired consistently on weekday evenings at 6 p.m., it captured the hearts of Indian audiences, transcending cultural boundaries to become a beloved staple. Its popularity endured, cementing its status as a global television phenomenon. This series, known for its attention to detail and resonant storytelling, carried subtle nuances like this edit and its international acclaim, fostering a legacy that extended far beyond its original airing. Jamie Farr, who played Klinger, made a significant decision that altered a running joke in the series. Initially known for his character's penchant for wearing women's clothes, Farr gradually phased out this gag. Concerned about potential teasing his children might face as they grew up, he made the conscious choice to lessen Klinger's cross-dressing antics. As Klinger transitioned into the role of company clerk from Radar, the recurring joke practically disappeared from the show. This deliberate shift in the character's portrayal highlighted Farr's commitment to his family and reflected the evolving nature of the series' humor. This adjustment in Klinger's character showcased the actor's personal values and the impact of real-life considerations on the portrayal of roles in a beloved series. It exemplifies the conscientious decisions made behind the scenes that influenced the show's trajectory and the dynamics of its characters. Gary Berghoff, who portrayed Radar O'Reilly in the 1972 series MASH, hit a personal detail throughout filming. 
His left hand bore the mark of Poland syndrome, a rare condition causing underdeveloped chest muscles and finger webbing. Berghoff cleverly concealed it, either by holding objects or keeping his hand in his pocket. This effort to mask his condition didn't diminish his performance, but reflected his dedication to his role. The series finale, Goodbye, Farewell, and Amen, aired in 1983 and clinched the title of the most watched TV episode ever, with a staggering 121.6 million viewers. Remarkably, this culmination in the show's history captivated audiences, leaving an indelible mark on television records. Interestingly, the character Corporal Maxwell Q. Klinger, initially hinted as gay, underwent a significant transformation during the series. Originally conceived as a potentially homosexual character, the show's producers altered Klinger's portrayal to sidestep controversy. His evolution from pursuing discharge via unconventional means, including cross-dressing, to ultimately marrying a woman showcased the character's complete narrative arc. This shift from stereotype to a more nuanced depiction symbolized the show's ability to evolve and navigate societal perceptions. These distinct aspects of M.A.S.H., from Berghoff's discreet adaptation to the groundbreaking finale and Klinger's character development, collectively contribute to the enduring legacy of the iconic series. The cast of the 1972 TV series M.A.S.H. had some interesting quirks behind the scenes. One notable detail was their choice of footwear or lack thereof. Despite the military setting, the actors mostly ditched army boots for a more comfortable option, sneakers. Army boots were too noisy and uncomfortable for the soundstage, so unless a scene demanded it, the cast stuck to sneakers, often being shot from the waist up. This practical choice added a touch of behind-the-scenes ease to the intense on-screen portrayal of the characters. Each step taken on set was more about comfort than military accuracy, a hidden reality behind the wartime drama. Alan Alda, renowned for his portrayal of Hawkeye in the series, had an intriguing connection to another medical drama. He made recurring guest appearances on her, stepping into the role of Dr. Gabriel Lawrence, a character who reflected on his experiences as a wartime doctor. Alda's parallel in both shows allowed for a unique intersection of war-themed narratives. While MASH depicted the Korean War, or explored the challenges of modern medicine, and Alda's presence bridged these worlds. This seamless transition between two iconic medical dramas showcased Alda's versatility as an actor, and connected the historical essence of war medicine across different eras. As we bid adieu, let's pause and unravel the threads of memory that connect us to the timeless legacy of the 1972 TV series, M.A.S.H. It's more than a show, it's a tapestry of moments that wove their way into our lives, leaving imprints of laughter, camaraderie, and poignant reflections on humanity's paradoxes amidst the backdrop of war. Maybe it was Hawkeye's wit that drew you in or Radar's endearing innocence. Perhaps it was the profound messages hidden within the banter or the way the series courageously explored the depths of human resilience amid chaos. What about those iconic scenes that etched themselves into the annals of television history? This is an invitation, an embrace of nostalgia and emotion. Your journey with M.A.S.H. might have been personal, a shared chuckle with family, a heartfelt discussion with friends, or solitary contemplation in the quiet of your room. What scene lingers in your mind? What character resonates with your soul? Share your treasured moments, your reflections, and the essence of what this remarkable series means to you. Let's weave together the diverse threads of our experiences, forming a rich tapestry of reminiscence and affection. Thank you for investing your time and emotions, for embracing the nostalgia and reflecting on the cultural impact of MASH. Your memories add color to this collective mosaic of appreciation. Remember, it's the shared narratives that keep the essence of these timeless classics alive. So, take a moment to share your story. It's a celebration of the show and the memories it's gifted us all.